I don't know whether you want to have a quick gander at that. Mm -hmm. Where's Canary? Canary's out in the paddock still. Oh, what happened out there? <laughs> How are we looking? How are we looking? Yeah. We're about yeah. Uh, there's chocks there as well. Yep. Yeah. Could you turn the chocks? <laughs> One, two. Okay, steady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in, come in. Yeah, yeah. I'll just. All right, straight back. Now, if I come up. Should start up more to one side. Um, okay, I've got this chalk under here. All right, well, we can go, you can go to the other side. Now, just before we get carried away, Dad. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, this one's not a piss take, that's actually the current. Alright. So taste him. It's quite sweet. Big seed, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's the current bush. Not bad. No, 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 they're really sweet. Okay. That's yeah. Happy? Yeah. One. Two. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. You, you give the count. Okay. One, two. Okay. One more rock forward. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take those around. No, just give me a second. I'm going to give the other side the chalk under him. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go around. Yep, keep going. Yep, gotcha. Alright, forward. Chocks on. Do you want me out with you now? Probably need to lose the strap. Well, you can hold the strap. So bring the nose around. Yep. Right, let's get come forward. Yep. Uh, I've got to go to you a bit more, so you're going to have to go. Yeah, I can go down. Or go outside. Go back then. Let's go backwards. Keep because going. I've got this, so I'm pulling with you. Yep, I'm on. Yep, she's on. Okay. Um, if you wanted to, you can put oh, just chuck, chuck them, and then you can have a little rest. And that's how you put a plane on a trailer. <laughs> yeah. Escort's coming shortly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the over over width. The over width escort will be that here. we need on a private site. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're we're thinking if we get fast enough, um, our fuel efficiency in the car will be more. Yeah. The lashing capacity on this is more than the weight of the aircraft. Yeah. So I'm going to. You're not going to panic? Not really. Just take, take, undo that. Undo which? Undo, we take this off. Thinking. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Oh, no, okay. Oh. This, no, no, wait, 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 wait. I have this one this way, and that gives us more ratchet distance. Yep. So, now, Dad, do you want to explain why we're putting a tra plane on a trailer? Well, the oil pressure switch um stopped working when i went to restart after we're chasing the camels with ethan and i guess say i, I it to me to fly without an oil pressure switch is is being a bit brave we're we're, we're fairly certain that the uh, we've got oil pressure um, we had when i landed and i'm more than comfortable that we still have but it's just not a not a risk I'd like to it's not good practice not good practice and uh, the motor is 
worth considerable dollars. Um, so you just don't take that risk. A third of the airframe. Well, actually, that. Well, yeah. now, you know, with inflation and everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right up there. At the back, how are we going to tie this down? Well, if we got anything, we could come. You could go. Uh, I'm thinking here, around the wheel and back onto the other loop. Or go up to the bottom base of the struts, but we don't need to pull that down tight because we know she'll sit on the ground there. So you're significant winds, shall we say. So you're thinking struts? Just but in, right in close. So right in here. Yep, right in there. So you want to go where our bolts are on our struts? Yeah, if we've got anything we could slip over that just to... I'm just wasting getting rid of the strap here. One of the anchors. Just something to... I've got a pair of... I've got ants beanies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, ants would like to have some some participation in it, I'm sure. Um, anything... Glove? Old glove? Yeah, we might have used up all the old gloves. Yeah. Bit of foam like that. You happy with that? It's it's pretty dense. Yeah. The um, disappointing thing about this is getting a switch, oil pressure switch for it. It's it's a standard either ten mil or um, quarter. Oh, a quarter MPT. Yeah. yeah. But you've got to match the switch with the sensor, which means. You have to get both, really, unless you can get the original, and we couldn't get the original, so. Yeah, well, we had that with the power plant. Yeah. You couldn't replace, the original's not made anymore. Yeah. And because you've got to go to the new one, it's um significantly more expensive because you've got five pieces to replace instead of one. Yeah. Next time you get a service done, do it with you, Lamey. Having had a number of experimental aircraft, i.e. Uh, Glass Air 1, Glass Air 3, the Lamy we use, Aerojacks, insisted that we participate because they say that the, the Lamy that they might have available to do the job this time could be different to the next time. And uh, you know the aircraft, you're the one flying it, you, you're not going to, you're not going to get a Friday. Well, also, um, it's kind of like us with the wireless monitoring stuff. You know, we want people to understand what it is they're looking at so that they can fix it themselves or be able to at least pick up the phone and explain what's gone wrong. Which main, means it's easier for the mechanics. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you've done, well, the diagnostic's been done before you get there. Yeah. Now, the beauty about going to uh, Lamy, which we'll, we do every now and again, is they put a different set of eyes over it. Yeah. And different set of eyes over it is, you know, just we have this term going poison blind from when we used to have to pick pick poison for the stock. And you know, towards the end of the day you miss a plant. So you can easily miss something. It's really helpful when you get someone that understands and knows what you're doing and knows the environment you're working in. So it's it's good and good and good. I don't want to click that over too much because we'll spit some oil out the front. Okay, let's go throw the last bits on and then we'll we'll get her get her on the, the track. So this here actually is the current bush, which you might have noticed in a video earlier, Dad convinced Ant to eat it, and previously I convinced Dad's older brother, my uncle Pack, to eat one. But this is actually the current bush. And you've got these little fruits tiny little fruits they look like a current and they are a big seed in the middle now they are sweet pomegranate like just just like a pomegranate yep now I'm not advocating this but the story is in the old timey days when you couldn't get tobacco you'd get the leaves off this one and they'd smoke that now, the other thing is that the, the women used to get this, they can grind it up, and they'd mix it with the ash out of a, a fire from your campfire, the white part of the ash. You mix that together 
and then that's a painkiller. That's a um, that you just sit in your lip, and it would help with headaches. So I'm I'm not the most qualified on bush medicine, but that's something I've been told about it. But it's also just a nice little plant to have around. It's a good indicator that it's not getting flogged. The country's not getting flogged. But it is just a translucent little little fruit. And there is talk that the these seeds are a bit of a aphrodisiac and there appears to be quite a market for them going into the northern region. So maybe it'll be good for our cattle. <laughs> yeah, 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 we need them to go out working hard. Well, I've got to grab those blocks out yeah, that we used. So we dug, you missed out on all the video, we dug these out so we could get more of an angle so it was less of a push. And we put blocks under the back tyre just to lift it up a bit more, making our lives easier. So we just got to watch our turning radius. Yep. Hi, Benny. Uh, and you want to reverse out? Yeah, I'm going to reverse out. I just want to get it straight, then I'm going to lift the holes. Yep, straight at that. Yep, you're good. So that's sort of it for this part of the video. The rest of it's going to be back at home and doing the work on that oil pressure sender. So that's going to be kind of part two of this video. But we're not expecting anything eventful. The air, the Wingspan, the entire way home, we've opened the road up so that we can perform landings like we do, did here. Um, yeah, so we're on our, on our way back now. It'll be good to have it back in the air. I think where we are is pretty good, isn't it? There, it's got the slope about Yeah, and I'll grab another pallet yeah. and we'll just... So I'll just roll it forward. Yep, you're good to come back. Yep. I come turning her off. A couple of ramps would be nice. Say again? A couple of ramps would be nice. Right, so how far have we got there? We've got shin high. So we've got second pallet. Yeah. There's a full railway sleeper as well. That'll have us pretty close, won't it? Happy with that? Yes. I mean, coming off shouldn't be that hard. Well, sometimes it's easier when you're having to put a lot of force to get them yeah, yeah, exactly. in one direction rather than controlling the uh, descent, shall we say. Well, I mean, you could almost control it with that strap there. Yeah, now we've got to get this over that way a bit. Can you just bump her over this way a bit? A little bit more. Whoa, 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 that'll... Uh, do we want to put this on so we can control it? Because this we can just let her down nice and... Nice and steady. Yeah. Okay, you're going you're gonna to hold? I'll supply the power. Um, I don't think you're going to need to supply much power. I'm just going to throw my phone out. Yeah. Right to go? Yep. We've got plenty of room on your side. Yeah, heaps of room on my side. And you have to give how, how much freedom do you want on that? Yeah, a fair bit. I'll tell you when 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 you, when, when you go get serious. Yeah, let it come. Let it come. Hang on, your sleep is going to miss on this side. 
to miss on both sides. So you need to move your sleeper one way or the other. All right, don't mean to, um, oh, I can. It's all right, I've got it. Just, just bring that in here. Yep, all right. Oh yeah, that's great. Good, good size block. Beautiful. What I might do. Put in a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yep, you got the strip. Okay, do you want to go and just grab the tail plane? Is that? Yeah. Yep. Steady. Yep. Yep, yeah, down, down, down. Okay. Um. Switcheroo. Well, she's there now, we can put everything else away. Um, we want to duck her back in the corner. Nose all the way in? No, nah, put the tail in, gives you more room. Okay. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's a bigger, rudder, deeper and taller on the little one. Yep. Which gives you all that low performance. But taller. Zulu 8's taller. Well, it's good to know it wasn't my imagination about flicking it around. Yeah, I might have cheated today. Okay, tell me. Oh, is this the stuff from, oh, Bushman Creek. Yeah, yeah this, this has got DEET in it. Yeah, DEET is good. Yeah. Say yes to DEET. Well. Now, can you, but this is quite strong. It's the one you don't put on your lips. 80% DEET. I'd like it if it was 90. Ant. Do you see the flies on me still? <laughs> <laughs> but what do you put it on? Do you actually rub it on your face? Yeah, see, I, I shave this little bit here, yeah. so then I've got a clear zone that's between my eyes and my mouth, so it's not getting me in the nose, and it's not making me cry, mm. and not making me want to oh my god uh, shoot myself, because the flies are just lovely. The humidity is too Right, here, here. Yeah, there. Good to see you had a shave this morning. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Maybe we could do reviews or like companies could send us their best insect repellent formulas because if they work here, they'll work anywhere. Mate, this is the only, this, what happens if you put it on here? Does that work? I've tried that before. Yeah, what happened? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Well, see, that's the sweatband, your hat. No, I'm not going to put it on the sweatband. I'm putting it on the underside. Yeah, but what if you rub it and then you touch your eyes? Well, then I'll probably be <laughs> blind, Jack. <laughs> right. No, some... Okay. Right. So, uh, g'day, everyone. Yes. We're back. We the are. first part of this video was mm. Dad and I going and picking the plane up. No, actually, it wasn't. The first part of this video was when we were doing, when, when we did the camel shoot, where yeah. the boys come up from Paul's Pet Food. Yeah, but we didn't do a cutscene on that about why have we... But they have to know the background. Okay. 
I think I think we've got a video where you were interviewing Dad about the plane. Okay. Yes, yes. So we'll right. see if we'll we can dig that, that in. in. Okay. All right. So we'll chuck that in. Now, Tim, this yep. is not the plane that you started started the job with. No. 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 We yes. had an oil pressure sensor go. In the other plane. In the other plane. So, so what's happened? So then, what did you do? You so, with the oil sensor out, you haven't got a reading for your oil pressure, and it's a bit game to go uh, uh, without an oil sensor. You're, uh, you don't know your oil pressure. No. And we're pretty ninety-nine percent sure that it's, it's only the sensor that's gone, okay. but it's just not worth the risk. No. What would happen if you tried to take off in a plane and your oil pressure didn't work? Uh, it won't be long before you don't have any noise. <laughs> Without noise... You're not the sky anymore. It's not long before you're back to Earth. <laughs> and if you haven't got much height, you've got to make some real quick decisions. Right. Okay. So that brings us on to... Today, Ant and I are working on the problem. Now, Dad and I originally said that we would be doing that together, but he's driving up at the moment with the Wongatha lads. So, Ant and I are on this. And why we do aviation stuff in pairs is that there's two sets of eyes on it. And we question why, if that looks right, if that looks wrong, and we dive into it. So, two eyes are better than, well, two sets of eyes are better than none. Mm. So, that's why I hope he doesn't rub insect repellent to his eyes no i'll try not to the other thing yeah. is probably better that you have two aviators looking at it as opposed to one <laughs> aviator and one non no i reckon it's even better that the passengers are doing yeah, it no true because you're going to be more paranoid that we get it right yes this is, this is i'm paranoid in here but yeah so yeah dad and i originally had gone through uh that we would be talking about the guys that we got the other plane the guys that put the other plane together and they insist that when they're doing services on those aircraft, we're there as well because as a pilot, you need to be able to do some diagnostics yourself. So we've skipped the diagnostics. <laughs> we're straight into fixing the problem. Now, we had a bit of fun with the parts. They were meant to come up to Prenti, then they got redirected to Esperance. And so it's actually about three weeks late. Yeah, it's about three weeks late for the parts. Logistics. Yes, logistics. This is what everything out here is about. Yeah, yeah, it is. Do you think if some worked? God, man. We've got that horse one as well. Yeah, I like that stuff that, what's his name, Ed? Don. Yeah. We need the Canadian to show us how to manage flies in the outback. Anyway, keep going, Jack. Right. I'm so... thrilled. Yep. <laughs> I am. I'm all ears. So we're in and we're going to unscrew these and we've got our phones to take photos as we go along. Right. Are we right. starting? Well, yeah, we're good. You can, you can. Okay. I like the point with the. I like. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Ah! Oh, no, it's all right, Jack. Now, Jack, you said when I went to go for the power tools, which is always your first port of call, you said, oh, no, 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 Ant. We don't use power tools on aircraft. No. Is that right? Yep. Do you want to tell the audience why? I want to keep them in suspense. Yeah, I don't think they need to be. They, no. They probably no. don't care, Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised that as the passenger, you were like, yeah, 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 just power tool it. No. But, well, you power tool the wheels on the car. Yeah, that's fine. You're on the ground. Okay. Well. Yeah. You haven't got far to fall. <laughs> right. So all the talking and everything. Talking's it, done by hand. Yeah. Right. No. no, and we're not talking sign language. No. Uh, we yeah, do all of this by hand, double check off by hand to make sure that we haven't stripped anything as well. Yep. And that's a real risk with the aircraft. If you strip it, it's a real pain to have to go back and replace because you might look at this thing and think, oh, yeah, she's all riveted together and, you know, the nut certs and everything, that's fine. I'll just grab one from my local hardware store. But no, you can't do that. You can't just use you can't just use standard rivets or componentry okay. on the aircraft. 
Okay. So the rivets that are in this aircraft are not just a you know five dollar yeah. Boeing special. Yeah, they are aviation grade rivets. Good to know. So they are higher. But it's like aviation grade aluminium. You'll see stuff advertised as this is actually the real stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. So top cowl off. All right. I'm going to go put this on a drum. Now we need to take the bottom off, don't we? Uh, yeah, we do because we've got a oil cooler that's hanging down. Ah, uh, yes, we do. I remember. Right. Uh, is there any sequence that we do this in, Jack? Uh, that's it's held on by these, and then how many you got? One, two, three on here. Is there any under there? No. So it's just one, two, three down the side, yeah. Yep. Right. I'm gonna start the bottom. You yeah, jack the the screws are just there under your feet. Ease up. Support the front end. Okay, I'm doing the top one now, Jack. Yeah, I'm on the top one now. Yep. Yep, you're good to drop. Let yeah, him go. You've got? Yep, I have. Now, Ant, you were the one that took this apart. <laughs> what? When you say you. Uh, you were present I was, when I this... was present. This, Yes, that is a true statement. Okay, can you show me no. where the oil pressure sender is? I thought... He was looking colder, warmer, warmer. Down here? There we are. Yes, he's put a um, ear plug in it so we ear, wouldn't get any dust. Ear plug in it. Right, let's jump in. Here, I'll hold that. Here, you, here oh, let me hold that. And I can't see. Fuck all. <laughs> there we are. So, our oil pressure sender is at the front here, near where our oil cooler is, and our oil filter is on the other side. Okay. So, Where's the old one? Is that the one that's down in the workshop? Well, I assume. Okay. It's all good. We've got rags. Yes, so we've got rags in the car here. I'm just gonna grab a photo. Okay, so I assume the routing for the cable ran along that same lagging line. And is that, that's it. You guys just snipped it off. Okay, that's fine, that's good, because then I can follow that route yep. all the way back yep. into the firewall and yep. back and up that, to drive yes, the cab. because that too, I do remember that, that came around here and you can see it following through here, it comes through there actually. We've got a plane over the top of us. I was like, holy shit, that's low, but no, that's a bird. I wonder if they're above the cloud. Well, look, I oh, bet. Oh, no, 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 that's the bird I looked at. Who do we have? We have RFDS from Makathara, and let's look at. Oh, look, they're going to Warburton. What a surprise. Yeah. What a surprise. 25,000 feet. Wow. Well, what, sort of, what sort of plane is that, Jake? Is that a Cessna or a... Pilatus PC-12. Lovely turboprop engine. No, yeah. Mm. And those guys are some mm. wicked pilots. Yep, they are beelining for Warburton. So someone's got another kidney problem. Right, Jack, back onto planes. What are you looking at? Well, we've got two sensors. Yeah, two senders. Hmm. Great. Let's go grab the one from the uh, workshop. Let's go for a walk and G and W K. W K. We need to make sure we take the key out and disconnect the battery. I love doing that on this plane. <laughs> I'm going to run with the WK one. Now let's see if we actually have a physical fit, like if we can mm. even get in there. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
I don't. For some reason, I don't. No. <laughs> It's, it's going in, but I'm not sure if I'm mashing a thread or what. I don't really like that. No, it's like, and it's pretty exposed, isn't it? Like it's... Well, we're going to be rubbing on... But also, you don't see... Like, that thread goes a fair way in, Jack. Like, if you look at how far that thread goes in, yeah. you need to be coming at least... You need to be... Like, that, that thread, if you look at the internal thread, it gets all the way to to that mm. to the end of the thread that's what i read from in here if you look from this angle jack you can see if you put that in i bet you it goes all the way in what i want to see is the level of resistance we have yeah oh she does tighten up so that's okay that um yeah but I'm how far are you afraid. in but how far are you in yeah just enough do you have a photo from when you guys took it apart um I can have a look. All right, we'll just pause that filming for a moment. Hang on. I'm just going to put this back on here. So this comes in the front. That's right. Yeah. That's it. Uh, but how do we go? Ah, it? flip it up the other direction, upside down. Okay, stand by, stand by. Yep, you've got us on speaker. Yep. Um... Yeah, she's got to go that way. If you can make them fit, they fit. If they don't, they don't. There's not much I can do from here at this time. No, no, that's that's all right. We um, we're just working out the bracket as well, the oil cooler bracket. So we'll, once we've got the oil cooler bracket in the right spot, we'll be able to work out where we put this sensor. Right. <laughs> Is it bigger in diameter or length? Diameter. And length. Right. And length. Well, and length a little bit. Um, but apparently Rotax, <coughs> sorry, Rotax changed the type of sensor that they use from the Honeywell, which we had, to a yeah. different brand. Um, and the VDEO is a universal type, so we'll find out. Yeah, look, I, I, I tried to get them through um, the mob, you know, over east. Oh, Burt Flood, yeah. Yeah, they don't do them anymore. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, all good. All right. Okay. Bye. How are you going there? Yeah. Did, which, no, yeah, have okay. you taken the rubber off? No. No, no. Oh, you're just trying to get that wash off. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So we've worked out that this gauge will work. Yes. Through many phone calls and discussions. Yes. Okay. Which one are we actually doing here? Which which gauge? Is it this gauge or that gauge? Uh, this gauge and that sender. So it appears that out of this nice big loom we've got here, we are only going to need to use our green. And it goes to the sensor on the back Isn't of that, that. That just looks a bit flimsy to me to be running through the middle of the engine. But we'll put it in something. Well, because we'd have to extend this because you guys snipped you, that but one. Has it got some spare loom on it? This. Is there some slack in there? Let's have a look. There might yeah, be but some that's going to be a really small soldering connection. This, right, this is where our gauge comes out and it's gone. You've got to lie. Like, this is the very uncomfortable yeah, part. Yeah, you've got to lay it. upside down. And... Yeah, it's ridiculous. But have a look under the thing. Is there a coil of loom underneath that we can feed? Is there slack there somewhere? Or is it just going to... I thought there was a lot of slack. That looks like a bit of slack. Is that from our... It is. It is from our friend. Okay, yeah. So we can reuse that one. Thank you, Jack. Good. I didn't, I I didn't like ever that. I didn't doubt you. <laughs> I know you didn't. I know you didn't. But it's good. That's why we need two people, one who's not a pilot. Okay. Um, okay. Good. So yeah. how are we going to secure? Oh, I see what you're going to do. You're a genius, Ant. I oh, know. You are a genius. What am I going to do? <laughs> 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 right. So 
What we're going to do yes. is a little bit of aerobat aerobat acrobatics. Yes. We're going to get into that loom downstairs. Yes. We're going to snip. Yes. And we're going to get some extra length out this side. Yes. Then we're going to get a small red crimp. Yes. That will mean that we can connect onto the back of this sensor with our white wire. Yes. Going on to the, the G. G for gauge. G for gauge. Not G for ground. And I've got all those things over there. The new, how are you going? Yeah. Connectors. And we use a circle one. Right. And we go on the, the white wire, which will be our common one. Yeah. Not on our WK, which now, is our... But what about... Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. But now the case... Oh, no, the case is providing the earth, earth so we're fine. Yeah. Okay. And then at this end, we just... We can all use right. any, so, any sort of crimp. As I've laid in there before... No, it's okay. I'll do that bit. Sure? Let's go get some crimps. Some crimps. It's all coming clear now. So we've had a cup of tea. Yes. It's, flies um, are back. The flies are back, but and. Yes. I picked this up at the stock feeds. Yes, nature's botanical personal insect repellent. Rosemary, cedar wood, natural oils in a lotion. Yeah. Jack, it was $49. That'd want to be the shape well before use. Oh, it's also got no DEET. Do not apply to the whole body. Uh, uh, yeah. okay. Do not apply if pregnant or under two years old. No. We, uh, no, no. Um, you should apply a small amount of an area on the arm to ensure no adverse reaction. Oh, hold that, Jack. Oh, yeah. This is amazing stuff. Look all the flop. They, they, they. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, get some of that on you. Oh, this will be interesting. <clears throat> it's not burning yet. No, but that's always a good sign, isn't it? Usually. Oh, I've got a cable tie here that we will need to um, replace. It smells like big stinker rub. It, it does. It does. Act, the, I've been trying that? to, yeah, did I put my finger on what smell it is? Vic stinker up, mate. <clears throat> but cedar wood. Have they been Vicks? You wouldn't think so. Jeez. No. Uh, the amount of eucalyptus? Any eucalyptus in it? No, but I don't feel my um, sinuses clearing up. No. Okay, that's straight. Right. So where we were previously. We were at the stage where we were going to we were. open up the loom a bit. Yes. And extend right. it back that's in right. through the firewall. Uh, we... Now I looked at our last video of us repairing something on the plane and this camera's performance in low light was really bad. Jack, did you buddy, is it this one here, is it? Yeah. This one here. Get that big loom, this I reckon. One? Yes. You sure? Where's the hole? Where's this? Where was it? Did See you... that red line there that's got the fireproofing on it? The orange line with the fireproofing at the front here that goes through the firewall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah, yeah. that grey line on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's it. That's, that's it, your bird. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah, we've got heaps, mate. Yeah. Well, right, let's snip that with those little, my little snippers. Boop, good, to good, boop, good. Dragged it around too much, of course. No, no. How confident are you, Jack? What do you mean? How confident are you? Well, I'm going to put my seatbelt on. What? <laughs> <laughs> what, in case it takes... But you're not going to fly it. No, 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 no. But it's um, good practice to make sure that you've got your seatbelt on when you're doing any run-ups or even taxiing or anything.
All right. So I'll just pop in and put my belt on and I'll start her up and see what we have. I will move to the side. Well, um, you don't want to be in line with the prop. No, I, I get that. Jack, should we move the camera out of the uh, spitting zone? Well, I'd do it for the angle. Okay. It won't well, be a problem if, if the I'm camera... I'm getting out of the spitting zone. Yeah, if the camera gets hit, it's not a problem. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the other way around. Well, I mean, it, it's a big problem because it means our props come off. Right, eh, Jack? Keep your eye on that oil pressure. Oh, is that what I'm doing? Yeah. All right. Just, just in case you didn't. I don't want your door. Beautiful. So my brakes are on. Master switch is on. Pumps on. Yeah. Maggie's on. Yep. Come Clear on. prop. Oh shit. <laughs> Sand oil splashing out of the uh... nothing. Nothing. What if we change it over to the uh, whatever WK? No, 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 no. It couldn't be more clearer, Jack. Either has one terminal or two terminals. If it has one terminal, it is signal, and the case of the sender must be grounded. You've got two terminals. If the sender has two terminals, it's labelled as G and whiskey kilo. Yes. G is the signal. Yes. And whiskey kilo is not used. Well, the other thing is, Jack, you know, if now we've changed out the sender and the gauge, is it possible that you do have an oil pressure problem? I mean, we seem to be ruling that completely out. Is it possible it's trying to tell you something? Yeah. Yeah, we've got this new sender in, we've got it all wired up as per instructions and we're getting no pressure. No, uh, it's not a good thing. No. No. Um, have you spoken to Mark? No, I'll um, give him a call and just, yeah see what he reckons but yeah, yeah just double check with him. yep do they do this because mechanics or electric they feel like look our our um our trade isn't we just want to we just want to make it a bit more niche so that no one else can do our job it's a bit like an old british motorcycle you know like with a motorbike i used to have an old norton commando right now on on most motorbikes, your gears are on the left, and it's one down and yeah. four or five up. And then on a posted bike, it's all up. Yeah, okay. Because you well, can only an, go on up. On an old British motorbike, the Norton Commando. Yeah. Gears are on the right. Yeah, but even better, it's one up and four down. Try that. Try that, mate. And, 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 but the clutch and the brake on the thing are in the same position. Yeah. Did you just do it just to fuck with your mates? No, I didn't. It's how they come out of the factory. Rejig, rerun? All right. All right. I'm keen to test. Yeah. With the brown. All right. All right, let's not lose that. No. Where was it, by the way? <clears throat> it was under. Mm -hmm. The dog. No, 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 no. It wasn't under the dog. It was mm. underneath mm. some conveyor matting. Ah. Oh, hello, Stella Pup. Come here. Stella Marie. Where have you been? Chasing lizards. Hey. Huh. Oi, oi. Oh. Wanna come for a fly? Come for a fly? You gonna go stand with Ant so you don't get eaten by an aeroplane? Come on, Chopper. Go on, Pop. Come on. Hang on, it's gonna start. It's gonna start. Here we go. Let's see how we go. Mag is on, farm is on. Keys on. Clear prop. Still nothing. 
I think that's good news. He's scratching. What if we hook both of them up? <laughs> okay, so. Right, you do the. Uh... Yeah, the fiddly bit near the Bernie thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's your plane. Yeah, well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you broke it. I didn't break it. Well, I wasn't even one of here. your co owners did. You know. There right. I was innocently drinking beers by the yes. beach. Right. Right. This goes into green. Boom. Okay. There. Right. I'm cool. just going to close this. Yep. All right. So you're good for me to jump in and see if yeah, something yeah. happens? Yep. 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 All right. Right. Where we're at now is we're checking there's not a short in the loom dependent wire that you can see hanging outside the plane that's going straight to the sensor. Sender, I should say. Jeez, uh. well, he's not turning the plane off. I think you may have an oil pressure problem. This white one. I think we might have an oil pressure problem. Could it be the sender? It's a brand new sender. Yeah. The only, the only thing I can think of with that sender is the aperture, but you're assuring me, because it's such a different size aperture. Mm. I, 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 I mean, it'd be worth investigating, but if it says it's universal, then... Yeah, well, all it's got to do is measure a pressure in there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, maybe some are rated. And people do use these in planes. The, the instructions of reading are from an aeroplane. I believe you, mate. All right, now it's definitely lunchtime. We'll roll this back in. We'll tidy it up after lunch. Okay. So, Canary didn't have an oil sender problem. It had a bit of a wiring problem. My older brother Tom was up later on that day, and so he and Ant had a look at the oil pressure sender and a different interpretation on the instructions, a few different wiring configurations, and he had it up and operational within about an hour. So Ant was with him to finalise it, which was really good because Ant was there when we disassembled it. And also got to experience working with dad on the plane, with me on the plane, and then my brother, Tom. So the Canary is back up and operational, and she's got the 912 Rotax in it, which is commonly regarded as one of the most reliable light sport aircraft engines that's available on the market today. So the two new planes, the two Venturas, have got the 915 IS and we're hoping that we're going to have the same sort of reliability as we do out of that 912. So sorry that I missed the video I was off doing some other important work and Tom had a fresh set of eyes on it which again emphasizes the importance of having different people looking at the aircraft when they're working on it because they can see something different. So Thanks and I hope you <laughs> hope you enjoyed it and let us know what your insect repellent recommendations are because none of the ones we tried worked. So thanks and we'll see you in another video later. Cheers.